Good morning, Atlas uh, contractors in our Asphalt Life community. It's another edition of the Wednesday weekly webinar. Yay! So excited that you guys are with us, and I see everyone's coming into the queue. As we do every Wednesday, we love having all um, of the engagement that you all bring um, as a part of the these Wednesday weekly webinar series. So put something in the chat. Let me know that you're here, that you can hear us. Um, if it's your first time attending a webinar, welcome. If you um, have never been on these, we put these webinars out every week for the past eight weeks we've done them, um, just to really focus in on um, what's important to you by highlighting our, con our co uh, contractors' issues and being able to um, bring some partnership solutions to those issues. And so super excited to have all of you guys on this morning. And good morning to Teresa. Hey, Billy. Good morning, Florian. Hey, good morning, Steph. Good morning, Paul, Brad, Alex. Good morning, guys. Hey, Doug um, from Sheriff Gosselin. Good morning. Glad you're on. Charlie Burrell, Mike Walker. It says, howdy. Yeah, nice howdy. Well, do ya? I love it. Hey, Brett and Duke, good morning to you all. And good morning to um, all of you who are not putting things in the chat. I know sometimes you get a little chat shy, but super excited to have you on for what is going to be a very exciting um, rollout. We are rolling out a brand new edition of our Rental Works Design Studio. And for those of you who have been utilizing this design studio, you will um, be pleasantly surprised. We've been working with the Rental Works tool and team and with Brad, um, who's our guest today. And I am just so thrilled. I was just telling Brad right before this call how excited I was to be able to bring this to you guys. So lots of really good things to talk about today. And I want to just say a formal good morning to you, Brad. I know I haven't said hi to you yet. So how are you? Good morning. I'm very good. Thanks for having me, everyone. Good morning. Awesome. Yeah, glad you're on. Dana with Arnold's Home Improvement is on. Good morning, Dana. Glad that you're on. And I'm glad to see everyone is having a good uh, Wednesday. You guys put in some stuff in the chat. Let me know um, how um, life is coming now that everyone is slowly opening up around the country. We're excited to hear more businesses picking up in your markets and a part of important part of that is being able to visualize um, your new tool and that's exactly what we're planning to get into today um, with the new uh, rental works tool um, the atlas design home design studio if you have not checked it out i'll put a link in the chat so that you can see the current tool today and then um, brad will spill the news on when this is going to be live but um soon very soon within the next 24 hours you're going to see all the bells and whistles that um brad's going to be showing off today so let's jump into the agenda for today um we'll be jumping into a little bit of detail about rental works and most of you are familiar with the rental works platform if you have or have seen a visualization tool um it's probably by rental works because they do a lot of um, and re um, really excellent work in this space. Um, we'll talk about today's customer needs. We'll jump into our new Atlas Design Studio that we've been really working hard on. We'll talk about some key features and benefits of the tool, as well as give you a live demo today of the all new um, home, in, in home Design Studio. Um, we'll jump talk about how this is applicable for your website as a contractor to be able to utilize the Atlas tool um, with the Atlas Web Injector. And then we'll talk about rollout schedules and some Q&A. So without further, further ado, I'm going to introduce Brad. And Brad's been working with Rental Works for over 25 years in the construction software industry. Um, he's the SVP of Business Development at Rental Works. Um, for you all that don't know, Rental Works um, focuses on creating visual solutions for the industry. They have over 350 manufacturer libraries. So you're getting actual products um, when you visualize this tool. Um, he, uh, there's an, they have a big architectural and construction background and Brad has worked in areas of CAD and BIM estimating and visualization over his 25 years. And Brad, I'm so excited to have you on today. So thanks again for joining us. 
Thank you very much, Tara, for the introduction. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to be here as well. And I'm gonna kind of explain a few things as, as we kind of roll roll into uh, the presentation. Um, but, and I, I think it's important to kind of set the stage uh, when we when we talk about the tools and we talk about the, the approach that we use in visualization today and how you're gonna get the most benefits out of out of the tool uh, and, and kind of the procedure and the floor, it's the flow. It's always nice to talk about, you know, what the customer's needs are. And, and of course, you in the field, you, you see this, you know, a lot more than, than we do and than I do especially. But um, what we're seeing is, you know, kind of trends across the board. Um, whereas today's customer is a little bit different maybe than they were, you know, 10 years ago specifically, um, where they, um, they, they really need a lot of hand-holding, we find. They appreciate guided services that kind of help them accomplish their construction projects. Um, and then not only do they appreciate, but what we're finding is that they're starting to demand um, mm -hmm. products and, and tools that are far easier to use. Um, they really don't have, you know, maybe the attention span that they had even five or six years ago. And so they're looking for easy, um, what I like to, you know, call the, uh, nice soft landings. Um, so an easy way to get into a tool, to interact, and, and, and they're almost expecting it now that when they come to your website that they're going to see um, more engaging ways of interacting with your product. Um, the other thing it's, it's really interesting to note is that they're doing a lot more research online um, before they even attempt to contact either the manufacturer, the contractor, or the dealer. And so a lot of the customers out there have got, you know, some really preconceived opinions on the products that they're, that they're looking at. They've, they've done some homework. Um, some of them are, are quite educated, uh, and so having the website, uh, you know, up to date and inter interactive is becoming more and more important. And a couple of statistics too that that I like to, you know, explain out there that come from various sources like Hanley Wood, Consumer Digest, as a couple of examples. Um, what we're seeing is, you know, 30% of customers out there. Um, you know, greatly say that a visual search really impacts their purchase decision. It's always so much easier to see something than than to spend the time reading about it. Um, we're saying that 83% of consumers research products online before shopping in stores. Kind of what the point earlier about how a lot of customers will do a lot of research before they even contact a contractor, a dealer, or a manufacturer. Um, they're researching their products online. And the 77% are more likely to purchase a product that can be customized, which is where a design tool like what we're, what we're bringing to the table uh, becomes really, really relevant. And I, and I think almost the most important stat of all, and, and you could even argue that this stat is much higher than 80%, but you, you guys probably see this in the field every day where 80% or more of consumers just can't visualize their products on their own home. So you're going out there with sample boards, you have swatches, um, and not only in roofing products, but you know everybody you know picks up a paint swatch in Home Depot, and uh, and the first thing that they say is, yeah, but how is this going to look like on my on my roof? How is it going to look like on my wall? And so mm -hmm. that's really the main um, you know question and problem that RenoWorks solves today. Yeah, and Brad, you know, just to add to that, what I've seen in you know a lot of our contractors feedback getting a lot of feedback from them is that you know they feel like it that offering being able to offer that visualization re as a resource brings that homeowner that much closer to making their purchase decision and makes them that much more comfortable um with making that purchase decision as well exactly exactly and so it, it's always important to note too that when you when you use a tool um like the one that we're offering today, it's, you know, it's, it's one thing to have a tool at your disposal, but it's always important to know how you use it. And so there's visual selling is really an art. And it's something that even though it has been around for, you know, a, a large number of years, um, with the age of the internet, with what's going on in the world today with COVID and, and some of the, some of the, you know, the crisis that we've been having lately, um, visual remote selling is becoming more and more important. And so what we're seeing, you know, in a trend is that visualizers in general, in various forms and various capacities are becoming more and more prevalent on the market. Um, and then the other thing that we're going to talk about uh, a little bit later in the presentation is the integration of remote measurement, uh, specifically in your, in this case, Eagle View and visual tools is, are becoming more and more in demand. 
And so we're going to talk about what we're what we're bringing to the table and how we're going to be delivering that to you as well. Um, and then some basic things like keeping your website up to date. For those of you who have your own websites out there, uh, making sure that the data is up to date, uh, making sure that that uh, not only do you use the tool in your sales process, but you you think about well, how am I going to integrate that with some of my other marketing initiatives that I'm doing? Whether that be a trade show, whether that be something as simple as a, an advertisement, um, how can we use that visual tool in conjunction with some of the initiatives that we're doing today? Um, social media, of course, is is always an important uh, uh, thing on the forefront, and maybe not always used to to where it could be especially in the construction industry today, but it is uh, always uh, an increasing uh, form of media and being able to use some of the projects, use maybe some of your customers' uh, uh, projects that you're working on and being able to share that within social media is something to really, really think about and consider. And then, of course, screen sharing, just like what we're doing here, using a GoToMeeting or Zoom or WebEx, um, being able to do some of those presentations even remotely now in this day and age uh, is becoming really important, and uh, and the more that we can uh, pre-prepare and do presentations even remotely before we actually show up on site is only going to be a benefit to us. So on that note, I'm going to just jump straight into a live demo, and I'm going to show a variety of things today. Um, hitting kind of the highlights of of the new Atlas Design Studio, uh, we've got some some new improved user interface and usability. Uh, points that we're talking about. Um, rendering quality has certainly been enhanced, which hopefully you can see uh, by the use of the screen share. Um, but when you're, you're going to be using the tool very shortly yourself, so you'll be able to, to kind of gauge that as well. And then what we're going to do is touch on a couple of, of, of cool enhancements to the existing tools that you already have today. One is the use of predefined palettes. Okay. We've improved things like snapshot and reporting, and, and those are some you know, relatively minor tools, as I say, or minor enhancements. But then what we're going to do is jump into some of the more major things. Um, we've got an integration now with Google Street View, which we're going to walk through. And then probably the thing that I think you'll be the most, um, you know, one of the things you'll be most impressed with or, or hope, happy about is, is the use of artificial intelligence to auto-mask your home. Um, and so we're going to talk about the benefits of that, how, how it works. We're going to walk through a, a few scenarios to, to kind of show you some examples. And then at the end, what we're going to show you is kind of phase two of this project, which is the integration um, with Eagle View. So many of you are using Eagle View today for your remote measurements. We're going to show you how we're going to be integrating the visualizer into your remote measurements from Eagle View that you're already doing today. And before I jump straight into the live demo, I want to kind of illustrate five points because uh, as I go through each of these um, live on the visualizer, I want to kind of set the expectation of what services are there that you can do for free, as opposed to what services there that are that are optional paid services. So the and your existing visualizer had a couple of these already, um, and I'll show you some of the enhancements and some of the new things as well. So we have sample home, um, just like we did in the existing visualizer for those of you who have been using it. Um, and those have been enhanced and they've been organized in, in a new approach, in a new manner. I'm going to jump over to the right here and we have the DIY tool. Um, and, and I'll be honest, some of you probably love them, some of you probably not so much. Uh, so those exist, those tools are still there. They've been enhanced, they've been made a lot easier to use, and I will show you those as well, just to kind of give you an indication of the improvements that we've made to those tools. And then the third is what we call Quick View, which is an auto masker. So that's the ability to upload a photo and then through really no manual intervention at all, will automatically mask your roof, your walls, and your openings. And so we're gonna show you that. And then how you can use those in conjunction with, with, each, with each other is really, really important. On the paid side of things, we have what we call ProView, which is a professionally paid design masking service for those of you who wanna send it have the Runnerworks design team uh, prepare it for you and send it back. And then the fast track service, which is the 3D model integrated with Eagle View service as well. And we're gonna, we're gonna show you that as well. So without further ado, I'm going to now show you the new Atlas Design Studio. And hopefully everybody can see that. I've toggled over now to show you that. And this is kind of what it looks like. 
um, today. And so you'll see there's a couple of things here. This is gonna go live very shortly, which we'll talk about at the end of this presentation. And there's a couple of key things highlighted on the home page. There's the sample homes, and then there's the quick view. But you do have other options as we talked about in the last slide. So you have your pro view, and you have prepare it yourself, which is your, your manual masking services. And then you also have the ability to create an account, which those of you who are using the tool, that's always the first thing that I recommend doing. And then once you have an account created, of course, you can sign in. And you'll notice that when you're signed in, because it'll say my account and my project, as opposed to if you're not signed in, which will, it'll look a little differently. The other thing that you'll notice too, for those of you who have projects in the existing tool, you have right here on the header in this little red bar here, a legacy link. When you click on that, you'll be able to actually launch the old tool and open up some of your own projects. And, and we're gonna leave that live for a period of time for anybody who has some old projects that they, uh, that they wanna be able to access. But the new visualizer is a whole different format, a whole different approach. Um, and going forward, new projects that you'll be created will be actually saved in these accounts as well. Okay, so let's just, first of all, we'll start with the sample homes, which can either be accessed by the menu or by this button here on the, on the lower left. And you'll see that the sample homes, many of them are the same. We've got some new ones in there as well. The major enhancement that you'll see here is that we now, across the top of the screen, have uh, various categories. So if you're specifically looking for a certain type of home, ranch style, for example, new American home, you can actually use these tabs to filter your sample projects, or if you simply click on all, you'll, you'll be able to see all of the samples here. The samples are still really important um, because the, the, um, the visualizer is open and free for a consumer to use on, their, on the website. A lot of them will come here, they won't necessarily know what a visualizer is, but they will be able to quickly open up a sample home and kind of play with the options. And then what we do is when a consumer um, you know, wants to save a project, create an account, of course that's a lead that actually ends up going to corporate and that gets disseminated to, to, to everyone as needed. Um, and then what we've also done is we've had the prepare it yourself tool right here as well. So it's easy access if somebody wants to click on that and prepare it yourself using the masking tools. So what I'll do here is just to kind of highlight a few of the new features as well, and, and a few of the enhancements to the old features. So you'll see that when you open this up here, you, you still have some product selectors on the left-hand side. Each one is segmented by the way that it's segmented on the building. But you also have, when you hover over your building, you'll see that the roof, the walls, the openings highlighted as needed. Um, I can select it, um, very similar to what I did with the, with the existing tool, and then I can go and filter down through the various products and select the colors and apply them to my home. And, uh, and depending on how this particular home is prepared, you'll see that accordingly. Uh, one of the major new enhancements, though, that you'll see is on the, this little tab here beside the product list, you'll see when I accept, these are predefined palettes. So I encourage people to use those because it's, it's a huge time saver and these have been predefined. So now what I can do is I can select a palette and as I select that palette, you'll see that um, not only am I applying the roofing, but I'm applying a predefined combination of roofing, siding, in this case, stone and trim. So as I go through each individual palette, um, it's just a really, really quick and easy way to apply um, products to the entire design without having to select the roof individual from the siding or the stone. So it's a great time saver, okay? The other thing to note is that because I am signed in as a, as a project, I can actually um, pick my own roofing, pick my own siding and my own stone, and I can actually create my own palette as well. So if you have your own pre-designs that you want to create based on a combination of building materials, save them to your account. You can actually do that by, by creating your own palette as well. Okay, some of the enhancements to the existing tools, uh, for those of you who have been using the existing tool, you'll notice we still have our roofing system, um, our little what we call hotspots, where you can actually select those and highlight you know, various bits of information um, regarding um, regarding the roofing or the underlayment or some of the some of the advantages, and you'll also have the uh, the pristine effect, 
which is something that has always been, um, you know, very, very unique to Atlas, where you can show, you know, what that shingle is going to look like in five years in comparison to the competitor with an interactive slider. So let's you go across, and this has just been enhanced, a little bit easier to use, a little cleaner um, than that it was in the old tool. And then you can close that and, sh and close the pristine effect. Okay. Some of the other things that you'll notice as well as an enhancement is you can save your project, you can give it a name, okay? So I'm just gonna call this new project. And then once you've saved that project, then what you can do is um, save snapshot. So the snapshots have been moved kind of up to front and center. So now that I've got a, a design here, a combination of roofing, siding, shingles, I can actually save a snapshot okay which is a an actual saved image of that and now if i go through and maybe i select in this case a different palette and let that render this allows me to um, save up to 10 snapshots so once that renders i can say let's let's save a second snapshot and a third and a fourth i can also delete snapshots if i want to delete them and then what I can do is when I want to print it, the new design reports allow me to either include or exclude the various snapshots. And then that design report is right here on this tab. So it's been branded as an Atlas design report and it shows the various products um, in combination with the design. And then if you have multiple snapshots, you'll also see that I have multiple pages. Each snapshot has its own page. And then this is something that can be, um, you know, that can be printed off as a leaves behind, or the consumer can print it off and then say, this is what I designed, you know, how do I order this product? Closing that X brings me back here. So that's a little bit about sample projects and a little bit about some of the, uh, the new features palette and some of the enhancements that we've done. So now we're gonna get into um, various things that we can do to upload your own photo. So I'm gonna start first by the, the manual tools, okay? So if I go and say, let's prepare this myself, you'll notice here that I have now two options. One is I have Google Street View, and I also have the ability to upload a photo as I did in the previous tool, okay? And both have their own, um, their own advantages. First, we're gonna start by uploading the photo. So by uploading the photo, you select the photo, and in this particular case, I'm just gonna select a, um, a very simple home, and I'm going to upload that. Now, for those of you who use the existing tool, um, again, some of you may have loved these tools, and some of you maybe not so much, you'll see that these tools have been improved quite a bit. You still, um, you know, pick two points on your home that uh, allows you to set the, the distance between those two points is the scale, okay? And then here you have all of your tools here on the left-hand side. So we've kind of consolidated everything on the left hand side so your kind of eyes always focus on the same spot and then here what i'll do is i'll say i'm going to add roofing and i won't spend a lot of time on this but you will see that there's a difference uh compared to the tools that you have now whereas the um you know the the tracing polygon is a, a little bit a little bit nicer a little bit finer a little bit easier um you can grab the point and everything is in this in, in this nice little bar where you can set the perspective okay very similar the grip is, is, uh, allows you to kind of align the bottom with my gutter, the top with my ridge, and the two edges to represent the slope of my roof. Just a little bit simpler, a little bit cleaner, and a little bit easier, okay? I can also set my brightness or my transparency, and then I can say done. And then what we also have is when I go to my design tool now, it takes me back into the main design area, and then from there, I can, it was just as if it was a sample project where I can select my, my various products, my various colors. And then, of course, I can use pristine effect. I can use my palette and I can save it to my account. Um, you know, very similar to, to what I did in my old tool. But if I want to go back into there as well, this button here called toggle mask editor will always take me back in there. And so um, I'll just show you one more little thing, uh, which is foreground. It's changed a little bit as well. And it allows me to do things like, for example, isolate, you know, lamp posts, trees, things that are in the foreground of my, of my project. And so, for example, when I rendered that roof, I rendered it right over top of the tree. 
But if I want to spend a little bit more time uh, making that design a little bit prettier, you'll see that I can use foreground to do that. And, um, and that tree will now render, you know, right in front of the shingles and it'll look a little bit nicer. Okay. So that's the manual tools. I won't spend a lot of time on it because I'll let you explore. And if you have any questions after, we can certainly um, dive into it a little bit deeper. But they have been improved. They're easier to use. They're, they're, they're finer tuned uh, for a finer degree of accuracy. And it's something that for those of you who are used to them, um, they're certainly there for you as well. Okay. One other thing, though, and this is kind of where we're getting a little bit, uh, a little bit more exciting. So when you prepare it yourself or when you use the quick view, you'll notice that I had Google Street View as well. Okay. And I'm going to, I'm going to save that one, you know, kind of for last. But with the quick view now, that is, you can also upload a photo. So if I use the quick view and let's select, um, let's say this image, for example, what the quick view does, it uses what we call AI, artificial intelligence. And it's something that we've been working on for quite a number of years, actually, in order to teach the system, uh, you know, primarily with photos, what is the roof, what is siding, what is stone, what are, what are windows, what are doors look like. And so we've been kind of running through what we call a learning engine um, you know, hundreds of thousands of projects, quite frankly, over our, our 20 year span and teaching this learning engine, um, you know, what those materials should look like. And so now what I can do is when I upload a photo, takes about, depending on complexity of building or, you know, sometimes internet connection, um, usually less than 30 seconds. So in this particular case, you'll find that when I've uploaded this photo, that the roofing, the walls, the doors, and then the windows have all been identified automatically. So if, for example, I apply a palette, just like I did earlier on, you'll see that what we've done is we've automatically set the scale, no need to set the scale anymore, um, automatically set the perspective, and allowed you to apply the different building materials without having to manually trace or map that project. Now you Listen, can also just, oh, go ahead. I was just gonna say, Brad, this is exciting because with the quick view, as you stated, you all are actually uploading your customer's home photo in this example that Brad's giving and able to very quickly use a palette or, or add specific products, right? Exactly, exactly. So you can use palettes, you can use specific product. And, th and the way we've done it uh, in this particular case is we've made some, some, you know, kind of upfront decisions. So we've automatically grouped all the roofing in one, uh, in, in one what we call layer. So when you change the roofing, you'll see that it automatically, and that's really kind of an ease of use thing, um, where we've automatically allowed you to change all the roofing in one step. Now, and I'll show you how this can be, work independently with your manual tools. And that's why I kind of showed you in this order. But if I want to just change the roof, I can just change the roof. If I want to go, for example, and apply, you know, maybe I want to apply stone to only one segment of the wall. Uh, or maybe I want to go in and apply siding to a segment of the wall. So what we've done is we have um, separated the wall layers and then what, what, what we've grouped the roofing layers. And we'd be interested in your feedback as you get using it, because what you'll find is you can change the way that these are grouped as well. Um, but kind of, kind of out of the gate, this is the, the way we've done it. So if I say I want to put stone here, I want to put siding here, you know, and I want to put, um, you know, maybe something like a, you know, a fishtail accent on the top, I can do that. We're typically most of your roof, and in fact, almost all of the time, your roof is all a single color, which is why we did it that way. Um, you, the other thing that you will notice, because it is using artificial intelligence and it's automatic, it's not perfect, you know, yet. There are a few little jaggy edges and things like that. And depending on the amount of tree cover and things of your photos, um, you know, the, the reality is some results may be better than others. But this is constantly being improved. In fact, mm -hmm. you'll see improvements to this month over month, and it'll automatically just be included in, in the, uh, the tool as we progress. So um, this is really, you know, 
Rev One, uh, the first release, um, but it's going to take you know huge amount of time savings out of your manual uploads, and hopefully it will encourage you a lot more of you to to upload your clients' photos. Mm -hmm. The other thing you'll notice too is even that tree in the foreground. I didn't have to manually mask that foreground. It for the most part found that tree and these shrubs and identified them as well. So the other, um, you know, kind of really exciting feature on QuickView, and this is also included in the in the um, in the Prepare It Yourself tab, is you'll see that I keep I keep um, you know kind of ducking this feature, which is Google Street View, because I kind of wanted to show it to the end. Um, but you can always upload a photo, but what you can also do now is use Google Street View. So if you know somebody's address, and this is really where the remote selling comes really important. Let's say you never went to the, the, the customer's site. You never were able to, to take a photo, okay? But you do know their address. And so what I can do here is I can uh, type in somebody's address, okay? And in this particular case, we've actually integrated it with Google Street View. And so what I can do now is I can either zoom in, I can fine tune the, the viewpoint where I want to look at that house. And if I use this particular house as an example, um, and I say use Google Street View, in this case, I'm using it under Quick View. So if I use it in combination with Street View, I can capture the image, and now I'm running the, the AI auto masker automatically on that Street View image. So when used in conjunction with each other, I don't have to upload a photo. I can type in just an address. And now I can use Quick View to automatically prepare that photo and start designing without having to go through the procedure of uploading a photo or manually masking the project. So we're just going to let that finish so you can see kind of where we end up. And of course, practically, right, this makes a lot of sense for a lot of homes that don't have a lot of tree coverage, but you get both options. You know, there may be a Google Street View that's a lot simpler to your point. Um, Brad, to see with Google Street View, and you can put both options in, whether it's your photo or the Google Street View option, and be able to make a, a, a decision on which house you want to mask and go forward with. I love that. Yes, and I just noticed, for whatever reason, my resolution probably just changed. Everybody's probably seeing something funny going on here. Yeah, the screen is... Um, Frozen, I think. Yeah. Okay. Let me just do a quick, uh, a quick update. It was going so well for a while there. <laughs> Technology. Yeah. Yeah. That's uh, what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll just do a refresh here. I have noticed you that my. Away? For Brad to put it in the comments, give us some feedback on what you think uh, about the new tool so far. I know I've been excited as we've gone through this process, but definitely open to your feedback on hearing your thoughts on um, what you think of the new tool, the quick, quick view, uh, being able to upload photos, identifying trees um, and outlining those. Yeah, Alex Bell says, loving how user-friendly it is. Absolutely. Um, very user-friendly, easy to um, use. Um, Lisa Swiggett says, can you upload plans if it's a new construction? Great question. Brad, do you want to address that? Yes. So the answer is yes. You can upload uh, like an elevate, like a black and white elevation, for, uh, for example. Now, with the black and white elevation, the quick view isn't really been fully optimized for that. We've been kind of concentrating over the last you know, year or so on photos. So you'll find that the auto masking, pro, you know, in some cases actually does a, a, a pretty good job. Um, and then, and then in, you know, in other cases, you'll find that maybe not so much, but that is something that we're, we're working on. So with, if you upload a, an elevation like a blueprint for new construction, for example, um, I would probably recommend still using the prepare it yourself tools for that. Uh, and, and that's, you know, kind of one of the, oh, kind of one of the reasons why we, why we, we still, uh, I keep flipping back to why we still left it in there because first of all, some people will, will still like to use it. and um, and also the, the the other part of this that's kind of really important is that you can 
if you get a, a quick view uploaded and let's say it's not perfect, you can always go into your manual tools and make corrections. So that's kind of something else that, uh, that, that is really kind of important to note. Great. So what I'm going to do is I'm, we're, we're going to try this. Oh, I, I, keep, uh, I keep launching new versions. All good. Um, just a couple, little bit more feedback, um, Brad. We The Google Street View is a game changer. Looks easy to use, really nice. Um, really nice home. Can the homeowner do this if the contractor sends them to the site? So great question there. You want to talk about that, Brett? Yes, certainly. So, so the, um, the the quick view and the street view and all that that is part of the the visualizer. So a, a homeowner can do it. They can type in their own address. They can actually use the uh, the quick view as well to to kind of automatically prepare their own images. So all of the tools that I've showed you uh, here are also available uh, to the consumer. Perfect. Um... Brad, would it be helpful if I took the screen and, and you showed it from my screen? Well, I, let me see. I, 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 it's back now. You guys, you guys see my screen again? We can see the same screen, but it's frozen. Oh, okay, because I'm, I'm up and running again. So um, they, Let's stop your screen share and restart it then. Okay. Uh, I didn't know that you couldn't see my screen anymore. <laughs> all good it says that um you're connected to audio but offline so yeah. let me go i'm just going to relaunch the uh, the screen share okay thanks mm -hmm. guys for your patience um a couple other um thoughts looks awesome do other roofing manufacturers have access to this so this is proprietary to atlas um Mike, we all of the tools that you'll see in this tool will be only the Atlas suite of products. And so you'll see from Pinnacle to Stormaster will be the only tools available in here. Yep. So you can feel free to share um, the tool with your um, homeowners, contractors, your customers. And it's all available right from our Roof and Home Design Studio suite, which is um, live today and brad will talk about when the new tool will roll out but um the roof and home design studio is actually always been up and our legacy rental works tool is available there as well um for people to use i'm going to put that link in the chat so that you all can see it um log into there and this is actually where you'll go um when we um launch and I mean, it's still frozen, but um, Brad, I'm going to. Yeah, go ahead, because yeah, I'm actually relaunching the webinar, and it's not allowing me to connect. Okay, cool. For for whatever reason. No problem. I'll just share my screen. Um... If I'm connected to go to webinar, the session should begin shortly. Can you see the screen now? No, no, I'm not in. Uh, can you see? Do I look like I'm actually in the webinar? You can see it, Tara. Okay, awesome. So most okay. people well, can see it. <laughs> but Brad, you can't see the screen now. Because I can't computer. see the screen, but you can, you can tell me where you are, and I'll be happy to talk to it. All right. So um, I think the part that you stopped at was use quick view, and you had up added an address in there. That's right. That's right. So, so basically, uh, and and I have it on my screen right now, but I, obviously you can't see my screen. Um, mm -hmm. But but basically, you know that that was kind of an overview of the actual visualization tool itself. I mean, it, it, the, the the nice thing about it is we were kind of at a point where we we had com kind of completed that segment of the presentation anyway. Yeah. Um, so it me Brad, the address that you wanted that it was it was loading, and I can put it in here on the tool. Oh sure, yeah. It was um two hundred two ten two one zero Le Mans L A M A N S Lane. And oh, that was uh Unclear. Uh, yeah, Eau Claire response. Yeah. Awesome. So I got the house up and I'm just gonna use Google Street View as preparing preparing the photo. 
So this, like you said, somebody asked earlier, are you able to send this to your homeowners? So Brad was just uploading it um, and he had a, a glitch on the screen, but I was able to jump in here, put it in the same address or, and you can walk through this with your homeowner very practically um, to be able to show them, you know, put in your address and you can actually mask this prior to, and then they can start designing. And so I have the tool up and it actually has the roof with all the from Google Street View with all the roof outline here, Brad, as well as the wall on the sidings. And then I see the tab for pallets. Perfect, perfect. So the other thing I was the only other thing I was really going to show that is so that's a, a great explanation of you know how you could use Street View in combination with the Quick View. Um, and I can't see your screen, but if you go to the totally upper left hand side, you'll see that on the tool is also a, um, right under the Atlas logo, there's a little toggle mask editor. Mm -hmm. Yes. And if you click on that and you don't have to necessarily, um, you know, do anything, but it just, if somebody actually wanted to go in and make corrections to the, mm -hmm. the, to the quick view auto mask or add new surfaces or, you know, do anything manually, they can always uh, go into that mode and then they can manually move things around or delete surfaces that you might not want. So gotcha. even if there's a lot of tree cover, maybe it's not a perfect result, you can always correct it if you want to spend a little extra time. Right. Love it. So, okay. yeah. So then, so that kind of completed, you know, the, the, the visualization portion of the presentation. Um, mm -hmm. If we want to, and, and uh, Tierra, if we want to go, go to the next slide, which is talking about Eagle View integration. Sure. Um, here is where we basically, we're talking about kind of the next phase of what we were doing. And, and so right now you're all very familiar with, with Eagle View. I think you all use the, um, the Atlas portal to, to order Eagle View reports, um, you know, quite often. And what we're doing is we're making some enhancements there. Um, so, Tara, have you got that open? I am opening it now. Okay, great. I'm sorry, I can't. <laughs> I can't. I'm flying blind. All good. So I have up the um, visual selling tech techniques screen. And then you wanted to go to. Yeah, we were um, just going to show kind of the, uh, the, the, the Eagle View order and uh, mock up screen. Okay. Um, I'll pull that up. There we go. So we're going to show the rental works. Yeah, so really most of you are familiar with the, with this screen um, and how you order your Eagle View reports today. Um, hopefully it looks you know, it looks pretty familiar to you. So we we're just really going to kind of show what what the enhancements we're going to make, um, you know, in a, in the next couple of months. Um, where we're going to basically be adding a segment on the order information sheet where you can now, or, um, with your Eagle View report, you will be basically be able to have the option of ordering a, a 3D model. Um, so with the Eagle View data, when you order your, your report, whether it's your roof Brad, report. I, I, oh. I got it up. It was a little slow on my end, but I got the, so, the home screen of the portal up. So yeah, this is the, um, as we're just showing the home screen of the portal that all of our contractors are familiar with. And then you were saying that as a part of Eagle View orders, you'll be able to actually see and order Fast Track, um, the Fast Track tool. Right. And so, what the Fast Track tool is, which, um, you know, if, if you, we, we can kind of walk you through quickly what that's going to look like. Um, and I sort of sort of have to put you through this, Tierra. But um, if you if you go to the URL fasttrack.renoworks.com,
And while while she's opening that, I'll kind of explain what what this is, is, is in in, uh, in conjunction with what you're getting. So what Fast Track is kind of the 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 Rental Works um, generic name. Okay. So when you know if somebody can order a Fast Track report, kind of uh, you know just on our website. But basically, what we're doing is we're building the infrastructure of this tool into um, into the Atlas Visualizer. And so the the simplest way to kind of explain what this is, and Tierra, let me know when that's ready. It's coming up. Okay, no problem. <clears throat> you'll you'll order you'll end up ordering your Eagle View reports exactly the same way you do today, but you will have the option to order a 3D model. And if you if you choose that option, when you get your Eagle View report back, which comes back in through your portal, you will also get back a link. <coughs> Pardon me. And then when that link comes back, what you'll what that link when you click on it, it will take you directly to the Atlas Visualizer, and you will be able to. And uh, probably the easiest way, Tierra, is to click on a sample gallery on the top menu. Yep, I just I'm here and I chose a and home. Pick, yeah, pick the second home for example. Okay. And then here you'll you'll depend and it depends on what you order. You'll have the ability to order a 2D image or 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 just add the 3D model. So here you'll see at the top right in the middle tier is a 3D model, a little slider. Yep, I'm showing it off. Looks so cool. And then and so there you'll get a 3D model that's going to be created automatically from the Eagle View data. So when the Eagle View data comes back to your portal, the information goes to RentalWorks. We create a 3D model of the home. And then you'll have the ability to, you know, view it from all sides. Um, and if you get it in conjunction with a 2D image, you know, they both work together. Now, if mm -hmm. you click on the roof, you'll see in this particular case, you have many different manufacturers, but you will only mm -hmm. have the Atlas library. And it'll look very similar to, to the visualizer that I just showed you. And you'll be able to apply roofing material um, to the 3D model as well. So guys, just to clarify, this tool is what is integrated and will be integrated into the Atlas Pro portal. So when your contractors go in and order Eagle View reports, they'll actually be able to purchase a 3D report similar to this. Uh, and we know there's other visualization tools out there that are doing similar things, but this is the all new rental works option that is available and already integrated in as a part of the Atlas Pro portal. They just click a button, purchase their EGOV report and say, yeah, I would like a 3D rendering of this home. They can go in and it'll just be the Atlas products. They can go in, add siding, do an actual um, rendering of what they want to add on. And Brad, I'm just kind of mocking stuff up here on, on the rendering, which is super easy to use as you guys can see. And I just put some pinnacle um, hearthstone on the roof and I got some brick siding going all the way around and I could add windows and trim all the different sides and accents are available within that 3D home. So for you all that are general contractors, if you're doing a full on project or even if you just wanna be able to help the homeowner really visualize the product on their home um, and highlight the, a specific product like the roof, this is a great opportunity to utilize this tool here. Now, the other thing that you can do too, Tierra, is see at the top, right under, uh, where there's a, right above the toolbar, there's a, on the right, there's a design, and then there's a measurement button. Mm-hmm. Click on that. On and then what you'll see is that same 3D model with all the measurements displayed. Gotcha. Perfect. Okay. As you select on each roof surface, for example, you can also do walls as well, but we'll focus on the roof. You'll see that as you select each roof surface on the model, it takes you to the corresponding area on the left-hand side. We call that the measurement inspector. Gotcha. And you'll also see it right above the house, the total squares of whatever selected will be reported. Right, so I'm selecting on different parts of the roof. And it's tabulating them up and then giving me the total squares. It's awesome. Right. And then the third part of, of uh, the uh, what we call fast track is if you go where you click measurements, if you go to the next tab over called report. Yep, here. And, 
you'll see that you'll have a design report, which is going to be the default. But if you click right next to it on measurement report on the left hand side. Yes. It, it loads up your Eagle View report. Great. So this is where the Eagle View report would be here. If they purchased one and in the Atlas tool, they'll be able to utilize this design, the measurements, and then actually have an integrated Eagle View report all in one, one portal. Right. So the I mean the Eagle View report is not new. It's just a it's just a straight Eagle View sure. report like you're getting now, but it's it's kind of now it's all encompassed under one, you know, sales hub as we call it. Mm -hmm. You can mm -hmm. incorporate your design reports, your measurement reports, your 3D models, your 2D images, all of the Atlas materials, of course, and awesome. it's all integrated under one hood. And, and, it, and Fast Track is new too, so you're going to see a lot of enhancements over the next three to six months on that specifically. When it comes to interactive lighting on the model and the realism in, of the model itself is going to get much more, uh, much more vivid as well uh, in the very near future. I love it. Yeah. The um and the the cool thing is that when with the Atlas integration with Rental Works, we do have the ability to be able to have all of this in one link. So going back to I'm just showing the UI, when you click this order 3D report, whether in the Eagle View portal, um, you'll be able to go down and order the 3D model of your Eagle View report as a contractor. Put that towards Atlas Bugs. Put it towards, you know, this is all integrated. So you'll still be able to utilize your Atlas Bugs or your ProCash dollars in this checkout process. And then jump back over. And once you click on that, this is all the features and benefits that come with it that um, Brad was just showing off. So this is great. Okay, great. So I think the next thing that we were going to talk about, and I'll kind of turn it over, even though you've already taken taken over. Thank you very much for helping out here. Um, the uh, about the uh, the web injector. Absolutely. So guys, you've seen the tool. Really excited. I we apologize for the technical um, uh, issue, but you know, you the good news is that we were able to go into detail on the primary use of the tool. You can now upload a homeowner's photo and have it automatically mask the home. You can use a sample tool. And the cool thing is about this is that when you jump into your pro account, many of you are already familiar with the Atlas Web Injector tool. That gives you the opportunity to embed any Atlas product page um, into your website. So this is not an Atlas website. One of our main rules at Atlas is we don't believe once you've secured a homeowner, you should then send them to the manufacturer's website. Always keep them in your environment when you're training or, or, or um, adopting a new homeowner to the website. So this Atlas Web Injector tool does exactly that. It's a simple code. You copy and paste it and you're able to have tools like the Storm Master Shake page right on your website. Um, so this is an example of Dave's roofing. And then um, we've out, I outlined the products, super simple, easy to use. Like we said, copy and paste the code, open the editor, and then save your changes. And this is available for the Rental Works tool. So um, very, very excited to be able to offer our contractors um, the ability to utilize the Atlas Web Injector to have the all new tool on their site. And the good news is if you're a, con if you're a contractor, you're listening, you're already utilizing our um, roof and home design studio on your website, guess what? You automatically get the upgrade. When, we're, when we update the site, it's automatically going to um, update on your end as well. So that's all I wanted to share about about that, Brad. Okay, great. So if we go to the kind of the 2020 rollout, this is where we're uh, we're going to give you some timelines. There's there's um, it's it's quite brief actually. The visualizer, everything that I basically showed you uh, today, um, is going live tomorrow. So the visualizer, the the quick view, um, all of the all of the different uh, bells and whistles and and things that we uh, that we showed you today are all going to be live tomorrow. The only thing that is not going to be live tomorrow right away is the the integration with Eagle View and the 3D model. So that that's the piece that we're calling Fast Track, and that's going to be or that that's underway. 
Um, and that could be as early as next month um, for that to be live and you'll be informed and then everybody will be, uh, will be notified as soon as that's ready to go. Um, but the visualizer itself with all of the new tools uh, will be ready, um, you know, no later than tomorrow. And then that'll be uh, disseminated to everybody. And again, if you have your, uh, some projects in your old visualizer that you want to utilize, um, the, the old one is not going to be taken down. It's just going to be moved to a different link so you can access your old project um, as, as needed. Right. Yeah. So tomorrow you will be able to, tomorrow morning when you get up, make a, you know, if you make a note to jump on the Atlas website and I put that link in the chat for you guys on how to access the Roof and Home Design Studio. Um, and I'll put it in there again now for you all to be able to access it. But tomorrow it's live. So um, be sure to jump in there, um, play around, give us feedback, send, feel free to send an email to us and let us know your thoughts on it. And um, I know you guys are burning with questions. So um, I'm going to um, put up Brad's information here on the screen so that you can have his info. Um, and just going through um, the questions, we have uh, some really great questions in the queue, Brad. The first one is, what is the turnaround time to receive, receive the 3D model in the pro portal? So once yeah, they good question. The yep. So so basically, the the actual 3D model itself is is you know within 30 seconds. So we're 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 dependent on the return time for Eagle View. So as soon as you get your Eagle View reports back, which could vary, of course, depending on uh, a number of different criteria, which I'm sure you're familiar with, um, the 3D model is pretty much instantaneous. So. Um, that model gets created automatically from the Eagle View data that we receive from from Atlas, and that model gets created, um, you know, within within 30 seconds. So within 30 seconds, that the as soon as um, the Eagle View report is in place, um, as they they'll be able to view the report within ordering it, which is that's awesome. right. That link will that link will come back immediately, and then uh, and then you'll be notified. It'll be there in the portal, ready to ready to click on. Mm -hmm. Yep. Another question from Anthony is, when will the Atlas Web Injector be available? So great question. Anthony, you can log into your Atlas Pro account today and, um, and they're under Web Design and Studio Tools. There's a button that says Atlas Web Injector and I can show you that um, here on the first page under website branding and content builder is the AWI. You can log in there today, Anthony, and leverage that um, on your website. As of tomorrow morning, it's really be live this afternoon, but tomorrow morning, um, you'll see the brand new tool in there. And like Brad said, for any of you, I know a lot of you are already utilizing the tool. No worries. You can always reference the legacy tool. There's a link right there on the page that is going to have access to the legacy tool if that's um, what you choose to use. A um, couple other questions that we have in here. Um, what is the cost of the feature? So um, Atlas has already uh, went through all the development to be able to leverage all the costs. All you, we want you to do is jump in there and use it. So there's no additional cost to be able to access the Atlas tools and suites. And like I said, it is available um, now um, under the Roof Inspiration link in your chat box. And tomorrow morning, you'll be able to see the brand new tool. A uh, couple other questions, and I know we're right up against, butting against the time, so I'll be brief, but um, does the 3D model work if you order a quick square report? Great question. Uh, and yeah, the answer is no, it doesn't. It's only, it's only for, um, basically, the 3D model is reliant on getting an XML back from EagleView, so because quick squares doesn't have an XML associated with it, um, there's no 3D model at this time with quick squares, but it does come back with a roof report, roofing, siding, uh, or property report. Awesome. Yep. And then the final question um, was um, uh, how to ordering the report. Um, and so just to take you through that, Lisa, um, what you'll do is here's the report page where you'll order it. You can jump in to your Atlas Pro portal, click on Eagle View, order Eagle View report. 
there will be a form in there to order your Eagle View report and integrated right into that form is the Rental Works Fast Track model. So you'll be able to order that 3D report right there. And say, for example, you're ordering your three your Eagle View reports and you say, oh yeah, I would like to have a Fast Track um, 3D version of this home. You can order it also here um, once you've already gotten your details for your Eagle View report. So like we said, the timeline on that is, um, uh, we'll, we'll have that ready the beginning of June. So that is in the works right now, but we wanted, because we are already rolling out the 3D tool with Rental Works, we wanted to be able to let you know the next steps of that was version 1.5. So lots of stuff coming down the pipeline, all great questions. Um, anything else before we um, wrap up today's webinar? Feel free to put it in the chat. You guys excited as I am about the new tool? No more manual masking unless you want to, which is thrilling. <laughs> I know for a lot of you all. Awesome. Yep, getting lots of good feedback. Excited to see the tool, excited. Great. Well, thank you guys for joining as always on today's Wednesday weekly webinar. We always appreciate you and don't forget, join us next Wednesday. Um, we'll be talking to Joe Hughes from Contractor Dynamics about social media and how to leverage that in your marketplace. Until then, Brad, thank you so much for today's webinar. This has been awesome. Thank you, everyone. I appreciate uh, the time today and uh, you know, don't, uh, don't be afraid to reach out if you have any questions as well uh, after the fact. And uh, uh, thanks, for, thanks for everybody's time. Awesome. All right, guys, don't forget to live replay. Talk soon.